Hi, so I just got here my inducer motor housing, which just arrived for my carrier Comfort 92. And this one works for a bunch of other models, but in my case, it was the carrier furnace uh, Comfort 92. And I find that lots of times when I examine the installation part, it gives me a lot of uh, clues as to how the um, actual assembly and uh, do-it-yourself project is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go through into, in detail how this part actually looks. So, so you, you'll get a very good idea of exactly what you're disassembling or what you're trying to disassemble as you do the project. Um, so you'll notice here in the center, um, I have a, let me hold it a little bit better here. So you, you'll notice here in the center there's this triangular thing and this actually goes into the actual unit and you'll notice there's ridges here right here there's ridges and uh, from the instructions uh, and the instructions weren't the greatest instructions it's like a list of things you have to do but there's no pictures or details to it um, but one thing it does mention is that you'll need silicone so uh, not just any type of silicone, and this is important, you need high temperature silicone that's at least uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And it'll list um, a couple of uh, silicones that it refers to, which is the GERTV162. Uh, but getting any type of high temperature silicone that that uh, meets those specs should be fine. So definitely make sure you go get that silicone because uh, the last thing you want to do is uh, make another trip to the hardware store. Um, the other thing I notice is, um, so there's the opening here for the exhaust and the other one, the other side is capped, which is exactly how my unit is also. Um, but you'll notice at the top here, right here, there's, there's screws. So it really just it really just requires four screws. So you see, here's another one at the center. There there's a screw here, a screw here, and um, you know one at the top here, and another one here, which, which is hard for me to show. Um, let, let me zoom back a little bit, and you'll see those two at the top. That this one screw here. So, so those are the mounting points. There's only four mounting points in, in case you were wondering what, when you're trying to look at your furnace and seeing how this actually disassembles. And here's the two mounting points in the ba uh, bottom. And this thing's fairly heavy. It's about 12 pounds and it's mainly because of the motor. Um, so let me flip it around now. And so my my housing is orientated like this um, with the exhaust coming out from the bottom and, and it's actually vertical so it's vertical like this um, it, it's not mounted in the ceiling or in the floor or anything like that it's it's just vertical like that so um, you'll notice here there's a hole here and I believe this is not just any hole but it's actually a drain it's actually a drain for some of the condensation I believe and you'll notice here, there's two mounting points here and like, like another screw here where my thumb is. That I believe is where the pressure valve goes. So when, when you're disassembling this, and, and I'll make another video on disassembling my unit, um, the pressure valve appears to be mounted on, on these two screws that where, where my thumb is. Um, and you'll see there's there's the electrical switch that plugs in but the the main point I wanted to show is uh, so some of my concerns was whether I'd have to mess around with the gas lines and in my case with the carrier comfort 92 there does not seem to be any places where the gas lines are in the way that I have to disassemble the the only thing that I really have to disassemble is unmount the pressure valve and remount it here on these two points. So 
Um, that is something that I hope that I won't have to do is mess around with the gas lines, even though I have to uh, shut off the gas and all of that, of course. But uh, as far as actually disassembling anything related to the gas lines in order to remove this unit and replace it, I'm, I'm hoping is as easy as just taking, taking uh, off those four screws, those four mounting points, and then mounting this in, and then replacing the condensation, plugging in the electrical, and uh, remounting the pressure sensor on, on this area here, and uh, hopefully I'm done. Um, and, and there are, I read the instructions that there are some spacers, and I'm not sure what those spacers are. I think it has to do with uh, some type of gasket. So I'm wondering if there's a need for a gasket for this triangular uh, piece that actually mounts into the furnace. Um, and whether, you know, putting in this, the high temperature silicone uh, is all I need. So, so that's the, some of the aspects that I'm curious about as to, you know, how long this will actually take. So. Um, but stay tuned for uh, those videos of mine where I'm actually disassembling the unit and, and I'll have up close, sort of up close pictures of that. Um, for this particular one, um, you, you'll notice this is a different model than, than the model I had. It's, um, and, and I bought this entire unit for $320 on Amazon. Uh, and it's a new unit. I prefer the new units over the refurbished units, but this is not a a an a and o Smith one that I had previously. But I'll go over the old unit once I remove it. Um, but that's really it. That that that's that's really what I wanted to show is you know some some of the details of this unit. And in, in case there are some things that I didn't cover. But let me go through inch by inch of sort of how this how this thing looks um, in, in case it's something that you spot that would be helpful for you that didn't necessarily uh, become apparent to me. So uh, let me go through some of this. I'm trying to Doing up close here. And let me twist it around so you can see. So, so these two are the mounting points that I'm talking about with with the pressure sensor that I have to unmount and mount on these two screws is what I saw. Um, but again, stay tuned for my other series of videos on this project and I'll give you an estimate of uh, how long it actually took. Um, hopefully, again, it's those as simple as those four mounting screws and the condensation and putting in this exhaust. Um, but that's really it and uh, you know, thank you for watching.